Hello everyone and welcome back to Crown Falls. Welcome back to our industrial revolution as I would like to call it. We continue right away with uh, what we need to do first of all is um, we have a laid the foundation for um, a bigger scalable industry now in Catester. Over here we have our big iron productions now running and at the moment actually we do have a bit of an iron and coal surplus still. So I would like to go ahead, we do have the worker workforce, go ahead and build some two more furnaces right down here in this area right next to our warehouse let's make the connection complete so they can um, get the the iron and the coal then from this area there bear in mind though that the ships of course Just the trade routes are only now starting to really fully work with their second or third turn so godspeed here hopefully is making or uh, doing justice to his name and getting that uh, these materials over there now i would like to reinforce these trade rods right away Ready we have um challenge. spindle needle another royal clipper coming out here and i would like to use this uh, fella here right away for my iron and coal delivery to Catester. Why iron and coal first? Because uh, the volume for these goods will just be higher and there needs to be a steady stream of those incoming, right? Plus also we are going to, to boost the output of iron and coal pretty soon with my dock cleanse then as well. We do have Shodix that still has some three iron deposits available and enough worker workforce. So I would like to go ahead right away also uh, getting us the iron production up and running then for, for these guys here. Uh, another royal warship, perfect. There is an iron deposit here. I will most likely need to destroy some things. But probably, yep, not even a building. They all have still their access. So we can just uh, happily go ahead here, build the next mine. Together with a warehouse. And we just do the same thing here. We do have plenty of materials for all of that. And number three we have then over here. Also once again with a mine. And there you go. Right, and the only thing we now need to do is creating a new trade route from Shodix over here to Catester with the iron ore that we're going to deliver them. Probably, it's probably not going to be that much. Do we have a smaller ship available? Do we still have a... We would still have our flagship that could do the job. We don't have a schooner. Ah, we do have the nifty mullet. It's a smaller schooner, but it should actually be fine for the... For the lower volume that we have on these lalibela is actually available right now and let's get the the iron ore over so that's 100 tons that it can transport right i think it takes around five minutes to get over here back and forth and it's producing 12 per minute right now which will lead to around yeah let's say 80 90 tons so that should be that should work out then for the for the volume that we have here if not then we just adjust and get us another ship in so that is catastra which is now a mighty industry zone growing and growing. So this is only the foundation. Next, we have Crown Falls. Right over here, um, we still struggle a bit now with the fur coats, with all the expansions, right? So it's at zero. However, we do have a lot of fur and cotton in already. So what I can see here, fur is full and cotton is also full. So let's go ahead and build us some two more uh, fur coat productions. And <laughs> he hates fur coats, all right? Keeping you warm, I guess. You don't like that so much. Tobias has also arrived now with his first trade, so the volume should now increase, especially for soap, which is going to be then our first upgrade. We are at 379 tons with that now, and the potatoes are already flooding in for our schnapps production. Speaking about the schnapps production, we still have our schnapps distilleries here, right? And yeah, we're going to get rid of them now, as I no longer need them. And we do have our schnapps industry over here at the end of the city, um, just like that. And let's go ahead and build the first two blocks then here for. Bear in mind also, we will not need a high demand for schnapps forever, right? At some point, we will just get rid of all the farmers and workers in Crown Falls, and then I can get rid of that in favor of artisans and engineers. And we probably make a tester our worker and farmer a city then as well, as we have plenty of space here. Speaking about Catester, let's also have some more upgrades here. We can upgrade these whole blocks there. We just should make sure that the consumption rates are still fine though. They're not so, uh, once again, we do need to boost this a tiny bit with just another fish of, fishery down here. Um, I think for my, yep, for my sheep farms we have though enough, right? So I just can build another one. And for my schnapps, as always, let's just go ahead and build us another area for this, upgrading the warehouse. The good thing is we also have now a steady a sup supply of building materials in Catastrophe, so I can just happily build away um, when, whenever I need something done really uh, i think this one yeah we can make four going all the way to the other side and then we have this area that gets now dangerously close to our industry zone 
that there probably should be a wall or something. Something to protect people from the fumes that we can see rising over here. Now, the trade route here for the steel, the steel beams and the weapons. Let's also reinforce this with another ship. Um, at the moment, we have Hesperus that is down here right now. So it, it is a good uh, opportunity now of getting Neptune's gift onto this trade route because it is starting crown falls now. So those two are then on opposite sides of each other. And this should uh, lead to a nice uh, volume then that we have. Uh, another two, three royal warships that we have. Let's just add them. I mean... It's still going to be tough, right? If Bente would declare war on us right now, it would be devastating, I think. Miss Hunt is, of course, a, a danger to us, but I think she's not as dangerous as, as Bente at this point. But things can change rather quickly. Now, in Crown Falls, uh, I would like to continue, most likely, with the next upgrading. There you go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What do we have? That is my iron transportation. Just getting casually attacked by a royal galleon, but that is just a trade ship, really. Don't forget, I also wanted to do some of those uh, missions that we still want to complete, right? Because they will give us epic items at the end of it. So deliver some hundred, uh, some 16,000 coins to Old Nate, something we can easily do now. And with that, we do get a salvager out of it. Rogue, it's called. And yeah, with that, we can finally dive into the depths of the ocean. And we already get the first mission to dive over here. Do we have the diving bell already installed? I think we have. So this is just a small test. And my Royal Clipper Condor. Um, there's nothing to trade here, so let's get this one back to yes, Crown Folds right away. Let's do the first dive. So this is just a test for us to, to be able to salvage them the ruins and stuff like that. It's going to be very tricky, to be honest, um, because we have Miss Hunt, of course, in the region. Very good. We got some 20 tons of scrap out of that. Let's get it over to Old Nate. Because with scrap, we can always do something, and especially we can do some item crafting. There you go. And we do get some little magnate. <laughs> Salvage scrap amount is increased by 10%. So we can equip the ship here with three items that boost its capabilities. And this one here is the first one to boost its outcome by uh, output by 10%. This was the first one. I think there's no follow-up quest for old Nate. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right. He wants more money from us. I guess I'll take it. And with that... We do get the next location. Which is all the way down here. Right over there. However, there seems to be some enemy forces here. We'll just see. Let's get the ship a bit closer there. And just to make absolutely sure, let's also put some escorts on it, right? Let's protect it. So this one needs to be protected. And it goes then all the way down here. I definitely don't want to lose my salvager. Very important, that is. I was in the process of upgrading. We have 3,000 farmers. This is absolutely nuts. It's just totally wasted potential. So let's go ahead and upgrade all of these workers here. And more workers in that area. And I think here. Not the old town yet. And those guys. There is some problem here. The marketplace is out of reach, which is uh, down here. So we could do this. Uh, we could boost this by adding some paved roads. We have the, the bricks for it, right? So getting this over should solve the problem for us right, right away. There you go. Getting us to 100% perfect. And that means now these guys here will also want to upgrade. Yeah, at least most of them. Let's go ahead. Those guys here. Ah, they've just been rebuilt. So I cannot upgrade them at this moment. Of course, as always, once again, very important. This will drag down my supplies. So in that case here, schnapps, which still needs to be improved. So we still need around four more schnapps distilleries. And I think I'm just going to go with another block here to really get cracking on that. Let's upgrade the warehouse and let's also have paved roads for the industrial zones because this is speeding up transportation time to the warehouses and back again to the schnapps distilleries. This will lead to a total consumption of potatoes by 48, which will lead to, yeah, around 500 in 10 minutes to 1,000 potatoes in uh, 20 minutes. So, of course, we need to accommodate that with my Docklands. So getting the 1,000 in is going to be a bit tricky, but I think we can ramp it up to 200 to 600 tons. And then I could also, because we are still using wood here, um, getting in that with um, some, yeah, sewing machines. 50 tons are already enough for another 6, so I don't need that. I need around 40. Of course, we don't even have that much storage in Crown Falls. 
So let's go ahead and also upgrade our trading post here. This gives me another 250 tons of storage capabilities. It costs me 150,000 though, but it's fine as it is of course a representative building as well. And it should just show the strength of our capital that is growing here by upgrading the trade post. Well, just being connected still with some dirt roads in the background. So at least let's just change this one here just a tiny bit, right? So that we do have some paved roads. At least that is a, a bit of a sign of civilization. All right, we arrive at the coordinates. However, there is already someone. So uh, it's not going to be that easy. I am Vashko Oliveira. I conduct the solemn and discreet business of none other than King Juao of Akaroa. That's La Corona to the plebs. We have come only to pay our respects beside the grave of a once great empire. It's obvious why they're here. It's the same reason we're here. For the emblematic power that scepter will give whoever owns it. But we can't afford a war with La Corona. Feeble though they may be, so I'm afraid you'll have to rely on wits to beat this Olivira to it. Righty, we definitely have to be first. That is an epic item for the a legendary item for the museum, so I want to get it. Do they attack us? No, it doesn't look like it. There's no war yet with them. Ship constructed. We're just going to casually float by, get over to, to this location here. Obviously, they didn't find anything. Uh, my next ships are ready, though. So, two more royal clippers and two more royal warships. Ah, we're down to 16 influence. It's going to get a bit more tricky now building more ships as one of them costs me 10 influence. So I will, I will actually have to wait for now. Oh, and this is also, of course, a big problem. There is a fire now in the in the area. And I think... I mean, my firefighters theoretically can get over there. There is a fire here still, right? Yep. They don't interfere, though. Why not? They can reach it. Ah, yeah, they're there on the way already. Very good. And let's dive at this new location, right over here. I mean, they were already here, so there should not be anything, I think. There you go. We get a Nadeski journal, though. This is the journal of my father's strategist, Nadeski. And deliver it the back to Crown Falls. This waterlogged log is in a terrible state. Okay, we do need to restore it to make it readable for us. And then we'll just hopefully find some secrets. Meanwhile, we go ahead and continue upgrading my industry. So another sewing machine factory right up here. And I will also need to boost my soap production and my pig production. So let's go ahead. We do have some still four piggeries here. Um, with that, we can have some two more, four more rendering works and two more soap factories. So this is getting a bit full here now. Let's upgrade the warehouses for that. And then we have our uh, sausage production over there. And for this occasion, I would probably just like to, to copy the whole thing and get it over here somewhere. Right, so that we can also have then... Yeah, I think actually this will just be fine. Having the connection here and here and here. The only thing I think we're missing now is warehouses. So let's get the first one down here. Actually, this is the only location, which is actually fine if we upgrade it far enough, right? So I could just go ahead with the second and the third level right away. So this has now four ramps available. This is just as good as two upgraded. And since the slaughterhouses are right around the corner, this is fine anyway. Let's start with a four. And yes, I can just click on the fields to build them as well. And then we go ahead with those four. There was a lot of costs there once again, but it's absolutely going to be worth it, right? Upgrading all of this to the next level and uh, work clothes is still the other thing that we need to do for the work clothes however since i'm getting a bit tight on space here what i will do is i will just boost them because this should easily be possible uh 50 for the wool and 50 let's make it 30 for the the work clothes don't forget we do need some wool here for the sailmaker as well so 
I would like, uh, like to leave some headroom. For the Schnapps distilleries that we've gotten rid of, I can just go ahead now and get us a few more farmers in. As always, space is of the essence. And it might seem like we have a lot of space available. Unfortunately, we don't. Right, so this is going to be one of the primary problems here. Seven minutes for Tobias. We are unfortunately out of potatoes at this point, but it's still fine because we have lots of schnapps available there and the rest should be fine. Oh, by the way, we have uh, unlocked a few more goods at the Docklands. What a happy vision of yours. And there's also the so Nadaski Journal. And in that I case here, canned fish, this, cheese, so also the pescatarian goods are in now, and then of course more raw materials that we have down the road. We need to um, restore it at the local university, so sail to the art restorer and collect your reward. And we're lucky there's even a faint possibility of returning this journal to a semblance of its original condition. We must first see to the binding. People tell me a flower-based glue will build gentler on such a delicate manuscript. Flower-based. So let's have a look. And of oh, course, deliver it to them, and we do get a legible Nadaski journal that we now need to read. So let's have a quick look at that. I think it is. I oh, at my salvager. This just basically tells us the story of what happened that day, and we do have our Sunday, the 13th of October, skirmishes between the king and La Corona's fleet. So now we need to oh, get to these crying. locations here according to the the journal, and we do get them marked here on the map as well. The first one is right over here. Meanwhile, we continue with our productions. So the next uh, grain farms we can finish together with another flour mill and two more bakeries. However, that will not be enough. So I will still need to have, let's have some four more uh, grain farms than here. Actually, we could have way more than that. And I think on that side here too. There we already have the city though. I want. I don't want to get too closer to the city. Uh, this is actually necessary. Right now, our total consumption of green is uh, 420 minutes. So with the Docklands, let's just quickly check it out. We could get 458 with the sewing machines. Let's uh, ramp it up to 150 sewing machines to 700 tons of green. Uh, in four minutes, Tobias will already arrive. Of course, we need to accommodate the additional consumption of uh, sewing machines with that, which makes it to uh, 200. Right now, we are 100. So I would need to double my output for the sewing machines, which is no problem because we have a huge... Um, upgrade here right now to my steel. So let's go ahead and build some three more sewing machine factories, upgrading also our warehouse. And trade union wise, we could also get us the first items over. Actually, this might be a very good idea. We do need to get, however, to the old world to Eli. Eli is over here, right? He's got the, the juicy items that we want for our trade unions. Now, there is a lot of mishunt in the way. Right, actually she's right in front of his island. So if we want to make this happen, we need to be very careful about the whole thing. Well, I could try I could try to get a white flag at Isabel Sarmento. Um, Re-rolling a couple of times, so it's very expensive at this point, so I need to wait again. And with a white flag, things would be very uh, quite easy, of course, because then my ships can't get attacked. Unfortunately, getting the white flag is really hard, so we're going to send a Royal Clipper over there without any escorts at first, because I think um, we would just draw in too much attention. I'm trying to get over here on the side of the map, all the way up there to Eli, and we'll just hope that Miss Hunt is ignoring us. The worst that can happen is that I would lose a Royal Clipper, which is easily replaceable. And let's go to the old world like that, and then once it arrives, we will just manually navigate. Also, my salvager has arrived at the next location. Let's just quickly look down there and have a look at what we can find. Ah, we get the rod of the Wait, scepter of Capone. So the, the first artifact. This is but a portion of the rod. It's no great secret then. We are both looking for the holy scepter of Capone, among other things. Vicent thought it clever to split our. And let's also retrieve that and get it back there to my university. Let's continue with um, doubling my hops production by essentially just, uh, you know, copying the whole fields over here to the world's shoddix. Um, there is a bit of a problem here, but that is fine. Build the warehouses. 
and then also all of these farms here in addition. Doubling that essentially because we do need, of course, more beer for the increased workforce that we have. And that means I'm going to double my 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 whole beer industry. So we're going to have the, the malt houses getting a bit further over into this area. I should still add another warehouse though. Of course, with more industry, we do need more fire protection. And another warehouse over there. So we are getting very close here now to Crown Falls um, for my for my whole beer industry. For now, it's going to be fine. The only thing I probably will need to do is I will need to boost my grain production there a bit. Um, because for now, we can keep those uh, grain fields, of course. The only thing is that I will need to import, start importing that more and more now. The Scepter has also arrived. Let's go ahead and build four An more malt houses. In one of your factories. And then also some more breweries here. And as we can see, we're actually rather down right now. Yeah, I think that's because the schnapps is out. But that shouldn't be a big deal as Tobias is already arriving and that will solve the problem. Just fine. We can, however, continue with the upgrading. We got lots of timber and still 1,700 farmers. Especially this uh, district here, also towards the, the harbor area, and especially those buildings there. I'd hate to punish you, but if that's what it takes... Getting us down to 900. These guys here will also want to upgrade now. Oh, we can't even do that anymore, because I'm out of building materials. But that is a good thing, actually. So we are not Just wasting anything. Alright, hello, Missant. Just casually saying hello here, trying to destroy my ships, a schooner. I don't have any defense in Crown Falls for a very good reason. Crown Falls is not uh, that much of a threat here to the AI, especially also I do have some ships here and I don't have the influence anyway, but Crown Falls is usually not uh, targeted by the AI that early for takeover. Even though, of course, I was surprised with that as well at some point, but I don't think that we see any big attacks here. Other than perhaps Benta that is still, still ramping up her fleet size. Your ship has returned from All right, Royal Clipper has arrived. We Ready just need to make sure that we avoid Miss Hunt. So I'm going to go here the corners and then all the way to Eli. And we haven't found the pirate yet. So I hope there is not the pirate base here somewhere that we are just running in. This is not looking like it. Nah, looks good. There is the pirate. So he is at, because we can see it on the silhouette. There it is on the really southern corner. So that Clipper Hi. should be fine. We're not under any ceasefire with Endo, oh, uh, and again. it's also not going to be so easy with it. Uh, ceasefire. Just out of curiosity, what do you want? It's rare we ah, we are going with ceasefire right away because we are we are more powerful than her military-wise. That's a good thing. Sean is no. having a different opinion, though. Kind of. Alright, next entry for the journal just tells us of a victory that took place. But still, we don't know uh, where the, the scepter is or, you know, the artifacts that we're still looking for. So let's get over here to Old Nate once more. Oh, no, no, no. I need to be careful, though. I cannot send my salvager out alone as Miss Hunt is still in the area. So let's just add some further protection to it in the form of two more warships. Stations. I will need to continue with another church building that we should have for all of these sorry workers. Uh, let's just move a few buildings around here instead of... And, you know, removing the farmers as always, because this way we can make some room. And this is looking like a good location here to me for another bigger church. I might actually move all of them down to make the church look towards the main road Just as it is attack. proper. Ah, there it was. Let's go for another building. Oh, this is looking fantastic. And yeah, let's go for, let's go for this skin that we have available. And we might actually just add a smaller park than here. There's a distinct whiff of powder in the air. Unfortunately, we don't really have um, a graveyard a ornaments. Was destroyed. Oh. Time the rigging. What is going on? A royal warship was destroyed down here. Ship under attack. All the way on that side. 
I think we're hunting the wrong ships here. My salvager has arrived. He will need more materials, so some steel and quartz sense we should be able to provide. Let's get back home to Crown Falls with that. What is going on down here though? Why is my why is my warship here in this area? Ah, there is my fleet. And I think it was chasing those ships. Yeah, of course. It's going to be lost. Domination. And no, this is this is actually these are uh, other forces. I don't know why my warship is here all alone. It was not protecting anything. There's my main fleet, so it's far away from it. Doesn't make that much sense to me, to be honest. Why it's so far away? Of course. These are also not my ships. We'll fight on if you need it. Strange captain, strange captain. Uh, let's get back home or try to get back home at least. So let's go ahead and have just a smaller wall here, right? So it's just bordering to the, the church itself. That has some ornaments in the in the center here. So let's make a, a temperate grove, right? So it's a mixed area between grassland and trees. Just beside that mighty church that is also now being erected right here in the town center of Crown Falls. Providing the church bonus to all the workers and then the artisans to come. So of course we do need all the happiness that we can get. Alright, Sholix is under siege. Another surprise attack of Miss Hunt. Luckily, we do have our ships close by. Ship under attack. Stations. And she's already fleeing the scene. Crime. A frigate can take a few hit fire. Left ruins behind. Yeah, but she probably will take down one of my frigates. But it's fine. We don't actually need the frigates anymore. Ready the ropes? Or she's not. Very good. No ships lost. He lost the ship, but that's it. I hope it was not a, an attack for, for distraction here. Since all of my productions are looking good right now, I think we can have another wave of upgrades for uh, towards artisans. So for that, I do need a school in, in this whole area there, I think. Yes, we don't have one yet. I do have a school for uh, this this area, so let's build it right away. Um, but this area is out of it at the moment. And there's actually this tiny area that looks very promising to me. <laughs> so these tiny blocks that we have where we can really just squeeze in one school for us. Like so. Uh, we do have... Like so. Right, so there's the entrance, and then we can have some ornaments here again. And let's actually build those ornaments right away. And as we can see, this provides, of course, more area for upgrades. So we are rather down on bricks, so we'll need to think about something there as well. But let's go ahead and have these guys here upgraded. And yeah, more over here on that side of the city as we're moving closer to the center. A competitor's island withstood an ah, and they're also fighting against each other here right now with some sieges. I think also my Capone Scepter has arrived. Ah, steel and quartz sand. That is something we should have, right? So five tons of steel. We are full on steel, so I have a surplus production of that. And then also the quartz sand, however, that is something where we just do need uh, a bit of a surplus production here for sand, so let's it's just build us another sand mine. That should already be fine and enough, and then we just wait it out a few minutes, and then we have the the sand. All right, speaking about my bricks production. Now, we do have um, two brick productions in Ketester. We do have two in Shotix, and they're, of course, not always fully used. So we can also have a smaller trade route that I would like to implement now between Shotix, Ketester, and Crown Falls a triangle and this one takes just a bit of brick so not that it would deplete the whole storage of these islands right uh, because we still want to have them uh, ourselves as well we could also set a minimum storage of course and then we're just going to unload these in in crown falls we can increase the volume over time the more production we have and yeah the nifty mullet a small schooner is just totally fine with this speed is not of the essence for this it just needs to have a steady supply of uh, additional bricks that would be that would be all really right um, and let's set a minimum storage though for Ketester. So over here, and I would say let's also have always at least 200 tons in stock. 300 we have right now. And in Shotix, the maximum capacity is at 150. I might increase that now because we always do need more storage. And we're just going to have yeah, those four here right away. A frigate 
and then we can have a minimum storage here also of 200 tons and everything above that is going to get over then to crown falls let's have a jump into the new world because my yeah royal clipper has arrived at eli very good no one has seen it miss hunt is not attacking so we do have a good chance here. oh my goodness oh miss hunt already has airships what a surprise I was I wanted to wait for that actually for airships, but I will need to have my flag defenses up again at some point. Uh, let's just quickly check it out. Right now, there's not really anything that we could need, especially since it's all very expensive and we don't have that much money. But of course, now we have a ship here and we can just wait it out until we have something. While we'll also continue to check the white flag at the new world. Um, if it appears, we will of course get it right away. So far, so good. Stay tuned. 